Do you believe? Well, yeah, yeah, let's get to it. I know. And we understand that, brother, because guess what? We done been fed so many lies, brother. We don't know what the truth is, brother. But now we know through the scriptures what the truth is. Give me what the truth is. Give me Psalms 119 and 142. Because everybody have their own truths, brother. But it's only one truth according to the Bible, brother. Like we were saying, only one truth. Read this. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh -huh. And thy law. And thy law. And thy law is the truth. So what's the truth according to the Bible, brother? Read it again. You got to pay attention, brother. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law. And thy what? And thy law is the truth. So what's the truth according to the Bible? God's laws. That's why we kept stressing that. And the law. That's what the truth of the Bible is, brother, because they teach us in Christianity. How many laws is it, brother? How many do they? See, we get all types of numbers, man. We got nine, seven, we're at 13, two. <laughs> Brothers the over. Yeah, the, the, we get 10. It, brother, let me, it's a lot more, it's over 613 commandments, brother. Yeah, brother. Let me give you one now. Give me a, let me give you numbers, 15 and 38. So, we've been learning a lot of lies, brother. Why ain't Christian, the pastor churches, ain't teaching us God laws, brother? If they teach us God laws, a lot of these things won't be going on in our community, brother. It wouldn't be no stealing, no adultery, brother. They will be teaching marriage. STDs will disappear overnight, brother. Don't you know we plagued with AIDS? All throughout our community, brother, we rank number one in A's, brother. Right. Read this. Uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. This is another commandment. Read up. Uh, speak unto the children of Israel. Read throughout the Bible, brother, from Genesis to Revelation. He's only talking to the children of Israel. That's Do you right. think this Bible is for everybody, brother? Before then, did you think that, though? No. You didn't? Okay, all praise, right, brother. Read up. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make fringes in the border of their garments. So God says, speak unto the children of Israel. We are the Israelites today, brother, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We make up God's chosen people on the planet Earth, brother. He said, and bid them, command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments, brother. So what we have on right now is, guess what? It's royal apparel, brother. This is our heritage, brother, because what did we do before we got off those slave ships? What what did we work, brother? What foods did we eat before we got off them slave ships? You understand that? Right, right. Read on, huh? Make garments throughout, I mean, say, borders of their garments throughout their generations. What does throughout your generations mean? It, it, for forever, forever. As long as you keep uh, procreating and keep generating, you're supposed to be teaching your daughter, your daughter's daughters, your grandkids, all the way on down. This is supposed to continue forever, brother. Read on. Why you see brothers out here with the borders of the ribbon of blue. It can be from a light blue to a dark blue, brother. As long as it's border of blue with fringes, brother. You know, pertaining to what color that you have on. You know we make it look good, brother. We we creators of fashion, brother. So we make it look good. Read on out. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. So it shall be unto us for a fringe, brother. Read on out. That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do this. So this law was instituted so we can look down at our fringes and remember all the commandments of God and do them. You understand that, brother? Like when you're about to eat a pork chop sandwich, you look, hey, I'm an Israelite. I can't be doing that. Right. You know where it's supposed to eat pork, brother? Yeah. Do you eat pork? Yeah, man. Oh, man. Woo. Give me uh, Hebrews 10 and 26. Yeah. Why did God create the pig, brother? That's a... God created the pig to be the garbage disposal of the earth, brother. So if you throw anything out there, guess what? A pig can eat it, brother. So we don't want those things in our body, brother. Every animal that God created has a purpose. 
lobster, shrimp crabs, lobster. Those things have purposes. They eat the doo-doo of the sea, brother. That's right. And guess what? We love taking our wives to some uh, red lobster some, eat, to eat some shrimps and all that different types of garbage, brother. That's why we suffer as a nation of people with high blood pressure, with gout. You see grandma with that, that grapefruit ankle, ankle so swollen she can barely put on her shoes, brother. Yeah. It's because we break God's laws. Right. Anytime we break God's laws, he brings judgment on us, right. brother. So we should be doing those things just like your beard. Did you know we should be growing our beards out? A beard is a badge of manly dignity, brother. How can we tell, yeah, give me that. How can we tell the difference between the male and the female line? Mean? Exactly, brother. Men have what? Men have mane, brother. Yeah. You know, we, that's a bit, that's a badge of manly dignity, brother. Let's get this. That's another commandment. So that's that's two more commandments outside of the 50. You, so that's 52 commandments right there, brother. <laughs> Read on. Uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So it is also a commandment for us not to bow our head like Michael Jordan, how we see Charles Barkley. That was the Egyptians' custom, brother. When God brought us out of the land of Egypt. He said we are separate from them, so we should do the things that they do, brother. They did that to mourn the dead, brother. But when God brought us out, he said, no, y'all are my separate people. I'm giving y'all new statues and commandments, brother. But like how you see brothers going forehead ball, if you're going like you see myself, you let it go ball, brother. We do not ball our heads ball. That's right. That, that was never our law, statues and commandments. Read on up. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. So it's also a commandment for us not to shave shave our beards, brother, because when you look on the walls of the Egyptians, they went, they cut all of their face, facial hair off, brother. You know, we're not supposed to do that. Men wear beards, brother. Right. Y'all know y'all nationality according to the Bible, brothers? Come out here, man. We out here to teach our people. We know that the Bible have not been properly taught on this earth, that's but right. y'all gonna learn this truth today, brother. That's, right. that's, what is it, that's what this is. Give me Psalms 85 and 11. That's what this is all about, waking our people up to who they are, because... What if Pastor uh, Porkchop read a few of these scriptures? What if he read the description of Christ? That can end black on black crime because guess what? We see ourselves as niggas and as spits. We don't see Christ in each other, brother. That's right. That's what's our problem. We see this image. That's right. We see this devil. We think that Jesus is white. So therefore, we look at each other like we nothing, brother. That's right. But guess what? Did you know Christ is a black man? Did y'all know Christ is a black man? All oh, praise, bro. Guess what? Did you know the Most High God is black? You know the angels is black, too? Are you teaching the children that? All oh, praise. You need to teach them that. Read this, huh? The book of Psalms. Which one? 85 and 11. The book of Psalms, chapter 85, verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth. So the Bible is letting us know the truth is finally going to be properly taught on the earth, brother. That's why you're seeing all these brothers out here on these corners breaking down the lies that we have been taught. Christianity is not in the Bible. That's right. Christianity is white supremacy. That's right. Nowhere in the Bible can you find that Jesus is a so-called white man. That's right. Jesus looked like you, brother. That's the right. Most like God looks like you, brother. That's right. The angels look like you, sister. That's right. The people in this Bible look like you. Oh, man. That's right, bro. That's who we are. That's who we be. We the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Read on, huh? Verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from the heaven. And righteousness is looking down. Y'all come out here and talk to us, brother. We out here for y'all. Righteousness is the keeping of God's commandments, brother. That's right. That's what we out here to teach our people because our people are not keeping God's laws in this day and age, brother. The answer to black on black crime is Leviticus 19 and 17. Loving your brother as you love yourself, That's brother. Right. That can end black on black crime this day, brother. That's right. The solution to STDs in our communities is what? Our marriage is honorable in all. That's and right. the bad undefiled, brother. Right, we can keep these commandments and change our lives, brother. That's right. The uh, solution to black businesses in our neighborhood. Give me Zephaniah 201. Let me give you the solution to that because a lot of times people ask these questions, but they don't understand the Bible has the solutions, brother. We just have to humble our spirit and turn back to the word properly of men that's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Because Ricky Gay Rush, they ain't teaching the Bible how it's supposed to be. TD Snakes, they ain't teaching the Bible properly. They ain't teaching this word because guess what? They go to church on what day? What day do everybody go to church on? On who? What do the Bible, what day do the Bible tell you to go to church on? Saturday, brother. They say that Jesus Christ looked like this, but the Bible says he's a what? A so-called black man, brother. That's right, bring it out. we always bring out, man. If they lied about something.
some of those obvious things, what are some of the unobvious things have they also done lied about, that's brother? That's right, bring it out. Cool, watch it cool. Okay, uh, praise. So that's some of the lies that we're breaking down with the Bible, that's brother. Right. Read this, huh? The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. This is the uh, solution to black businesses in our neighborhood. Read on up. Gather yourselves together. Read that again, huh? Gather yourselves together. No, I'm going to do my own thing. Gather yourselves together. No, I'm not getting with them Negroes. Gather yourselves together. The most High commands us to gather ourselves together, brother. That's how we make our nation strong, brother. That's how we have black businesses, brother. Right. Or as we said, Israelite businesses, That's brother. Right. Because we understand that black is a color in the crayon box, brother. I'm not the color of this brother shirt. We come in different shades of brown. You a lighter brown? I'm a little darker brown. He's a little uh, a lighter brown. I mean darker brown. Read on up. Read it from the top. Gather yourselves together. Ye gather together, O nation, not desire. So the Most High is commanding us to gather amongst each other, brother. Because guess what? We not desired among the so-called white men. Right. They don't want us nowhere near them. You try to go to Chinatown, guess what? They gonna ing dang all <laughs> your butt up out of that Chinatown, right. brother. Right. In right. the right. Japanese, they gonna, you gonna get your behind up out of there, man. Right. That's right. why they stay strong amongst yeah. each other, brother. Because they have been taught that since they was born, brother. Right. But now, like we said, truth is springing up out of the earth, brother. That's it's right. a new day, brother. Yeah. You willing to keep the commandments, brother? You think you can keep the commandments? Is it hard to wear fringes, brother? Exactly, brother. Is it hard to grow a beard on your face, brother? No, it is not. Is it hard to gather amongst your people, brother? You got to find a good body, brother. This this is a good core of brothers to gather amongst, brother, to get lifted up in this word, man. This is a good core of brothers. You got some questions, brother? You should have some questions. Like... How do you know, how do we know we the Israelites that the Bible speaks of? We could be out here just saying anything, brother. How do we know in the scriptures? Yeah, it's true, man. The Bible is important. Yeah, it is important, brother. It's very important, brother. No, it's important. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's important. Oh, important. Important yeah. from who? Do you believe the Bible? Oh, now the question started. You think we're from Africa? Yeah. You think we Africans? Yeah. Oh, good question, brother. That's what uh, that's what we want you to think. Read this right quick. I go to, to the definition. Oh, you got That's a good question. Let me. No, nah, no, nah, you can read. Yeah, we let Ock read. He get it. Go to the definition I have. I got it in there. That's a good question, brother. That's a good question, brother. Let me ask you. Thank you, man. Uh, four and twenty-six. Do we, let me ask you. Do we look like the Africans, brother? So how can we be Africans? There's some. Yes. Are we Egyptians? Let's read what this Bible says. Read the title of the book, brother. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, brother. The definition of ham. Read this up. Ham. Uh, yeah, the youngest son. They say Ham, the youngest son of Noah. So you know about Noah and the flood, right? Right. He had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Right. All of them were black men. So God used them to to uh, uh, procreate the whole earth. He used them to populate the whole earth. Read on up. Yeah. Born probably the youngest son of Noah. Uh -huh. Born. Uh, born probably about 96 years before the flood. So Noah was born 96 years before the flood. You know the flood actually happened, right? right. Read on up. And one, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He was one of eight persons to live through the flood. Read on. Read it out. It's a progenitor. It's a live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. What does the word progenitor mean? It means father of. It says Ham became the progenitor of the dark races. Now hold up. All of them was dark skin. Shem, Ham, and Jephthah was dark, right? Read on, huh? But not the Negroes. Read that again, huh? But not the Negroes. What do they call us, brother? Negroes. Did you say it made a difference right there? Not the Negroes, brother. Let's see who Ham is the father of. Read on. But the Egyptians? The Egyptians, they are Africans. Read on. The Ethiopians? The Ethiopians, they are Africans, brother. The Libyans? The Libyans? The Libyans, they are Africans, brother. And the Canaanites. And the Canaanites. And the Canaanites, they are Africans, brother. But guess what? We are not African, brother. So you understand that? Okay. 
You learn from them. Because do they even look like us, brother? Like we said again. Do they look like us? Do they come together with us? How can we tell the difference? We, we know African when we see one. They be having on them dusty ass sandals, brother. They don't smell good like how we do, brother. We can look and tell them. Y'all come on, man. We out here for y'all. I just break him. He needs to learn this too, brother and sister. Y'all come back, man. So we understand. They do not look like us, brother. So you understand, say it, brother? I can't hear you. Say it again. Yeah, come out. Muslim. Oh, uh, that's why you need to get out, brother. No. You got to come get out and talk to us, brother. Oh, man. No, we'll get that too. Hold it. Because that's what they teach us is that the motherland is Africa. But what do the Bible say that the motherland is? Let's get it. Give me a Galatians 4 and 26. I'll read this. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem. No, but Africa. But Jerusalem. No, the Congo. But Jerusalem. No, e e uh, Egypt. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem is the top real estate on the face of the earth, brother. That's why you see all races, armies in the Middle East, brother. They not fighting over Africa, brother. Read on up. Which is the mother of us all. No, Africa is the motherland. Which is the mother of us all. So what is the motherland? Jerusalem, brother. That's where the Garden of Eden was, brother, not Africa, brother. That's where civilization started, brother. So that's something else that you to learn, brother. That's why the Bible is breaking down all lies that we have been taught. Because who taught us everything that we know, brother? Think about it. When we, who brought us over here to slavery? I didn't know that. No, who brought us over here on them ships? The so-called white man, right? So they brought us over here to be slaves. Do you think they would teach us anything about the Bible, brother? That's right. Do you think they would teach us the correct way about anything? No, they would not, brother. They have been teaching us nothing but lies since yeah, the beginning. Jowry, bring that brother. Tell that brother, come on, I'll ask all questions, man. Because the brother want to know if we, is we Muslims. Okay. His son need to listen too. Yeah, that's what I told him. But uh, so Jerusalem is the motherland, and guess what? We not Africans, Tell brother. Pull, right we right are right Israelites, right. brother. And our homeland is Israel, brother. Tell him to pull the car up here. Give me the Eli. Give me uh, Luke 20 and 21. Because we'll get that history. We ran into Africa in 70 AD. That's right. Fleeing from Roman persecutions. So we was fleeing. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, come over here, brother. Let him squeeze through right here. Y'all believe in the Bible, brother? We not Muslims up here, brother. You don't see no cobblestone up here, brother. You don't see the Quran up here, brother. You see the Holy Bible. Yeah, come on. Yeah. We want you to get out, brother. It's because I heard Ark. Ark is the Hebrew word, which means brother. Yeah, it, it means brother. I'm telling you. I only heard, I only, when I was in prison, I only heard Muslim. Because guess what? They stole from our Bible. I, that's where they get that from. Everybody that's stolen from the Bible. They stole from my Bible. Give me that. You are, pull it out. Give me this. Tell me about the Quran. Elijah Muhammad. No, they stole our Bible. Don't you know, hold on, hold on. Don't you know that Islam was started 700 years after the Bible was written, brother? So how can that be the real deal? If it came 620, 622, 622 years yeah. after the Bible, brother. And then guess what? The Quran has no prophecies in the Bible. It can't tell you what's happening in the past, in the present, and what's going to happen in the future, brother. You understand that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, ask me some more questions. Give me that. We'll get this, because guess what? But what about the part when it says, uh, a man came in the desert on a camel, which was Elijah Muhammad? <laughs> That's a good question. We're going to get this out of the book. That's an excellent question, brother. We have that history, brother, brother. We study diligently on this Bible and our history, brother. He, uh, uh, Muhammad, guess what? He read in our Bibles. Muhammad is the father, is, is a part of the Ishmael tribes, the uh, eight modern Arabs today. They read in our Bible that God was going to make them a great nation. So he took that sense of nationalism and took parts of our Bible and Plagiarized. Right there. Huh? Right there. Hey, what a great nation. In the Middle East? Go ahead. Yes, God was going to make the, uh, the, uh, the Arabs a great nation. So he read that in our Bible and took that and formed it, their own doctrine out of it. You know how, you know, you know the reason why they're going to become a great nation? God, of course, number 
one. No. They, you might be a princess, but they're not going to be the greatest nation. We are the greatest nation. Go ahead, I, I was up. Let me read this right quick for you. Let me read this. Read this. Uh, this is out of the book of Babylon, from, from Babylon to Timbuktu. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshipping the sun. So when he was born, Arabs worshipped the sun. They had the, the, the sun that we're looking at right now. They was into all different types of idolatry. They had a God for every day of the week. What we finna read? Read on up. Worshipping the, the sun, the stars, spirit, and idols. And what? And idols. So they worship everything. Brother, read on. The Arab possessed 360 idols. They did what? They possessed 360 idols. Muhammad did what? Possessed 360 idols. Brother, they had a God for every different day of the year, brother. That's right. Read on up. One for each day of the year. One for what? For each day of the year. Read on up. Muhammad was born A.D. 570, 400 years after the death of the Emperor Justin. So he was born after that time. Go ahead, what you got? I, I thought it specifically said, Thou shalt not worship. Exactly, brother. So that's letting you know that's not a part of the Bible, brother. So you you coming up with your own uh, understanding right there, but it's letting you know you're on the same track, but it's not according to knowledge. What about the Muslims? That's what we're going into. The Muslims are a part of that. They branched off. That's just another section of that, brother. But Islam, I mean, Arabs founded Islam, brother. That's the Arabs' religion, brother. Black people have no uh, sense of worshiping that stuff, brother. That's the Arabs' religion, brother. Read on up. He was descended from the tribe of Koresh, then the family of Hashim. His mental, he, his myth, his mentality was per, 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 per genius, per genius. In his youth, he was never taught to read or write. Read that again, now. Huh? In his youth, he was never taught to read or write. Muhammad couldn't even read or write, brother. Do you understand that? Let's see how he got his information. Read on. But his imagination was... Superlative. So, uh, superlative. Uh -huh. Muhammad was an extraordinarily handsome man and eloquent, eloquent in motivation, motivating men with the power of words. So he was a great speaker, so he could get brothers to follow up under that religion that he was going to make. Read on. Accidentally, by this time, the, the Hebrew Old Testament, the what? The Hebrew Old Testament, the what? The Hebrew Old Testament had been translated into to Arab has been doing what has been translated into Arabic. So they translated our scriptures into Arabic, brother. That's why they looked in our scriptures and found out about their forefather Ishmael. Read on up. And the Arabs were rapturous, rapturously pleased to read about their great ancestors in the story of the Hebrew patriarchs. This fact alone. Who was that patriarch or the father of? Who was that patriarch in our Bible? Ishmael, because you know Abraham had Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael is the father of the Arabs today. Amen. Exactly, brother. So they read in our scriptures that the Most High was going to make them 12 princes out of that nation. So he took that sense of nationalism and formed Islam out of it, brother. So they took no, we our... Got, we got... We got a, a real strong community of blacks. Worshiping. Exactly, brother, yes. But guess, do you know how they, how did we start worshiping that? Don't you know they forced that on us in the sub-Saharan slave trade, brother? Oh, yeah, That's I, when the Arabs had us in captivity just like the so-called white man. Oh, That's a lot of history that our brothers and sisters oh, don't yeah, know about. Definitely. They forced uh, Islam on us the same way the so-called white man forced Christianity on us, brother. Right. That's how we started becoming Muslims and Islam and worshiping the Kaaba stone. You understand that, brother? Uh, Read on, huh? This fact alone helped Muhammad to inspire the Arabs, the feeling of nationalism. Oh, that gave them the feeling of nationalism and pride when they read in their scriptures that God was going to make them a great nation. That God was going to make them a great nation, but he, gonna, he wasn't going to make them the top nation, brother. We are the top nation on this planet, brother. How do y'all think we the strongest, the fastest, the smartest? 
the, the most stylish, can cook the best, can sing the best, brother. This is no coincidence, brothers and sisters. We are God's chosen people, man. We don't know. What people? And racial pride. You said what? What people? The Israelites, brother. That's who we are. That's who we be, brother. And hey, you know, I, I heard that before. Yeah, but... brother. And you heard it now. <laughs> I mean... I I know. Read this again. I want you to read this again. That's a good question. We just read it for this, bro. Read this. Give me the definition of hand. That's a good question, brother. Flip the page. 